This following video is presented by Presence Consulting Group, where we commit ourselves to your project's success. For more information, please visit our website at www.presencecg.com. Our topic for this tutorial is how to use SharePoint Master Pages in Iron Speed applications. And our presenter is Iron Speed MVP Herman Chan. For questions after seeing the video, please email herman at herman.chan at presencecg.com. Hi everyone, thanks for watching our Ironspeed video training series. Ironspeed Designer let us generate SharePoint applications which we deploy to our SharePoint environment. And of course, at the same time, we want to let our Ironspeed applications make use of our own custom SharePoint master pages to keep the branding consistent. That's the same idea like using SharePoint security in, in my last training video. We want to provide a very integrated and smooth user experience. In this tutorial, I'm going to go over first how to enable using custom SharePoint master pages on your own SharePoint site and then what we need to do to apply the same styles in our SharePoint um, Ironspeed applications and where to put the styles, the CSS files, the images and show you some techniques how to troubleshoot the style inconsistencies. So let's get started. Okay, let me first put my SharePoint site before any customization. As you can see, this is the built-in Microsoft, you know, blue style. And I'm going to show you how to apply your own custom style using the SharePoint Designer. I have some master pages samples that I download, and under each folder, I would have like master pages and the um, images for each styles and also the style sheets. So let me pull up the SharePoint Designer 2007 because I'm working with WSS 3.0. Okay, f from this level I can right click, well actually go to File and go to Import, Import. go to File and then what I want to do is add a whole folder want to do clarity and I can select the underscore catalogs and then it pulls in all these master pages and I'm going to do that again at the whole folder and this time I want to add images And then on the last step, I want to pull in all these necessary CSS files. So styles open, and then those are the CSS I'm going to import. Okay, so now all the files have been imported. I expand the catalogs level, and then under master page, now I can see all the master pages have been imported. And by default, it's using the default.master, and now I'm going to use this block orange uh, master page. Right click and then do a set as default master page. Click OK. And now if I refresh the page, as you can see, I'm already using the new style. So it is very easy to use the SharePoint Designer to update your custom style, to apply your custom style actually. Okay, let me first open another team site where I have the uh, Iron Speed application deployed, which is my app 3. Let me click on it, and as you can see, um, the Iron Speed application is still maintaining the original uh, style sheets right now, or the master page right now, because we haven't made any changes yet. So let me go into the uh, deployed application under Program Files, Common Files, uh, Microsoft Shared, and then uh, web server extensions 12 template layouts and then my app 3 which is the deployed application this is where the code is okay I go into the master pages file or folder and um, when I compiled the application I was using the SharePoint default.master so it's currently using that I'm gonna make a copy of that and rename it to be um, SharePoint default underscore new dot master. 
and what I'm going to do next is to pull in the new uh, master page the custom the customized master page and put it in this folder and rename it as SharePoint default master so the iron speed application can make make use of it so I'm going to delete the original one and rename this one okay let me go back to the browser and refresh the page so you can see the changes have been applied although it's not quite the way we want it to be yet and uh, to troubleshoot we want to open the SharePoint default master so let me open it up under visualstudio.net and uh, just quickly as you can see uh, this master file is using two different CSS file the style sheets but within the iron speed application we haven't included that before so look at the, the file the path and then we know that we have to go up two levels on, on the path and this is the folder where we are supposed to drop in those CSS files so let me go back to this custom master pages folder and let me bring all those CSS in and paste this in where it's supposed to be for the iron speed application and let me refresh the page okay as you can see that the cell has been applied and you can see most of the style have been there already uh, there, there are some difference on the, uh, the logo, the size of the logo and also the title the first thing is to fix those logos because as you can see the home has the full logo where, whereas my Iron Speed application page only show par part of it and it's because I have changed the master page um, after I applied it and uh, when I brought over the original one it doesn't have to change just yet so let me open up the uh, SharePoint designer open up that site and see what I need to change to make them consistent okay so I'm going to select this logo and be able to locate the width and the height automatically and I'm going to copy that and in here this is where the company logo is and I'm just going to paste that saved it and when I refresh this page see it is using the uh, correct width and height for my logo and then the other thing is the site title in my orange um, dot master page I actually have overridden the site title and um, I'm gonna do a different technique in here on my SharePoint default dot master page under Sh Iron Speed. I'm going to comment out this SharePoint property so that this is not being used. Team one is not being used, basically. And then for my title, in the space of my title, I just put in Dev Team, and then I'm going to save it and refresh the page. Okay, so it's using Dev Team now. And of course, to make it consistent, I can always use the longer name. But I just want to show you, you know, this is another way you can, you can use your own text on the Iron Speed page. So our next focus is how do I update the look and feel on this Iron Speed application, the the body of this application, to make it look more like um, our custom SharePoint site. 
the way to do this is actually up to update the styles.css just like every other um, IronSpeed application that you have worked with before um, except in this case because it's launched uh, deployed um, there are actually are the base style.css and styles.css are being included in multiple locations under the inetpub root virtual directories um, they are under resources WP resources as I'm browsing through you, you can see those and, and also the uh, app underscore themes and the place we really want to change it is under app underscore themes and in this case my app3 inherited and I'm gonna open up the styles.css and I'm gonna update my t uh, CSS tags in here and you would be able to see the change Another technique that I want to show you guys is actually opening up the site on Firefox. Firefox doesn't render the SharePoint site perfectly, however, it has a very good extension which is the Firebug. So in, in this case, I just open up the Firebug. I can put my mouse over any table cell and then on my right hand side, I can look at uh, the text being included and also being overridden and which CSS is coming from. I can also hover over a color code and it shows me the actual color to, to make sure I'm looking at the right tag basically. Using this tool I know exactly which tag I need to override in my styles.css in order to have the color or font that I want. For demo purposes I've already prepared some tags that I, I have tested out and used so I'm just going to copy it over and let you see the finalized product. So I'm going to my uh, styles new.css in my temp folder. Copy over those those tags, and a lot of those are actually um, SharePoint built-in tags. We want to override those. Put it under the styles.css. Uh, save it and then refresh the site from the browser see the application now looks really integrated to the end users not only the uh, colors and also the font type are being applied consistently So I hope after watching my video, you'll find it easier to utilize your own custom SharePoint master pages in your IronSpeed applications. If there are any questions, feel free to send me an email. We're here to help with your SharePoint or IronSpeed applications. See you in the next video.